so four, if I'm not mistaken. Chris Kelly here. There is B.B. Shea. What's up? You're off to Arizona. We just talked about it. Yeah. Uh, you're leaving tomorrow to see the Diamondbacks play the Padres because you go to all these different uh, baseball yes. stadiums. Yeah. Which I uh, have you been to Arizona? I guess not. No, first time going. First time going. You try. You getting them? I'm sure it'll be very cool and very nice out there. It's going to be I really think good. It's supposed to be like 110 when we land. You just said you wanted to go out there to see some good young talent. Yeah. Under- I said, they're probably saying the same thing about you. <laughs> they're going to say some young talent is coming about, in here. I don't know about all that. To this baseball stadium, yeah. and we'll take a look at him. That'll be nice. I'll miss you. But I know. We'll, we won't miss a beat, though. We'll no, be no, here no. next we'll week. We'll still be as well. here next week. Did you notice that when uh, you texted me some this week, because you said this last week, that you wanted me to use more current hip vernacular? Yeah, just, just you know, loosen up a little bit. Well, I just said when I said I was here and ready in the studio. And I realized it must have sounded like I was uh, setting up some sort of sex date because it says, <laughs> I'm in place, I'm in position, come on in whenever you need, the I door's just, open. I just really read that for the first time. I know, it's very odd. <laughs> it's really strange for me to... Uh, somebody I go to the gym with, my son also goes there, and he's off to college in a few days. I mean, he'll be gone. That's going to be tough. That's wild, you. isn't it? She, a, a woman that we go there with, she's about 60, and she's gotten to know us pretty well. And she texted me and said, when is your son's last day? I want to give him a sweaty goodbye. And I thought, oh, that doesn't sound right. That's a little weird. It doesn't sound right. <laughs> doesn't, but I knew what she meant. Yeah. Yeah, he's going off in uh, four or five days. He'll be gone. He'll be... Uh, How are to... you feeling? It hit me last night, really, for the first time. I have been sort of like, okay, great. We'll get him taken care of. And then I almost started crying. I was in the car, yeah. and I just started thinking, oh, man, he's not going to be around anymore. And he's my guy. You That's know, a weird we, feeling, I know. It is a weird feeling. You don't think about it from the other end, of, at least I did when I went to college. And uh, it's like, God, oh, you go and drop him off and give him a hug, and then you don't see him until whatever fall break yeah that's several weeks and it's a lot because he's never he's kind of a homebody he's never really been too many places yeah and uh i mean he goes around with his friends all the time but you always know he's going to be there at night you know he's going to come home and so it's a different feeling it's uh you know how far away is east carolina university from here Almost three hours, two hours and 45 minutes. So that's a good enough distance to where it's like there's some separation, but it's not too far away. I think so. He considered Ole Miss, which to (laughs) me was too far. And he said he was going to go get uh, crunk at Ole Miss. Is that Uh what he said? Is that what he said? Yeah, Yeah. I think that was it. Uh, And he said, oh, oh, I'm going to get teed at Ole Miss. (laughs) And I said, why don't you get teed somewhere yeah. else? Some, somewhere with some closer. in-state tuition. Yes. There you go. There you Tee go. some in-state tuition That's for the me. The in-state tuition is a big thing. As you get older, you start to look at As a father, you yeah. start to look at those things. Well, you know? uh, are you worried about him at all? You think you'll, uh, you know. I, I'm not worried about him. I think uh, I've instilled a good uh, sense of fear into him. I'm getting ready to have a big talk with him just before he goes about sex and drugs and alcohol. Okay. And I don't know too much about any of them. <laughs> Somebody, yeah. uh, you know, somebody asked me uh, if I was going to, when I'm having the sex talk with him, I, what I want him to know is, and I mean, I've had the talk with him sure, back when yeah. he was 13 or whatever, but I want him to know in college, you know, if he's with a girl and she says no, that means that's the end of it. You know, I heard Matthew McConaughey say one time about that subject. His father told him, and I'm going to tell my son the same thing, if you're, in, this is in college now when you're, you know, hooking up with a girl. Yeah. If you are uh, wanting sex and the girl says no, and then 10 minutes later, she says, okay, now I'm ready. Still no. Still don't do it. No, no, no. Yeah. That's pretty tough. The one no is, is to- that's, that's, all, it. that's all you need to hear, And bro. you just say, all you need to hear. next time, yeah. or whatever. We'll you know, work I'll it out sometime you. later, yeah. That's right, because then later, she can come back and say, well, I told him no, yeah. and then, you know, then it's like an ambiguous area, yeah. and so, and then somebody asked me, are you going to tell him how to do it the right way, you know? And I don't know yet. I don't know how to do That's it the right way. That's stuff he's got to learn on his own. I haven't learned I, it. I think it's okay to mm. inform your son, mm-hmm. but there's a line that needs to get drawn as far as you don't want to be too involved totally in agree. his sex life. You know mm. what I'm saying? Yes, I do. Yeah. And in fact, uh, I've never really learned how to do it the right <laughs> way myself, so... <laughs> It's not like I'm somebody that's a real expert on that. And then the drinking, I mean, I'm sure, I, I'm sure he will drink some, you sure. know. But 
Yeah. I'm not. I'm not naive enough to think he won't. But I would like to give him at least lay down the law and you know don't drink 75. Well, drinks. this is what this time is for. This is exactly. You know, obviously it's about education. Yep. Make sure you get that taken care of. Yep. But it's also a time to have fun and experiment a little bit. That's right. It's your last little bit That's of right. adolescence. That's right. And you got to make sure that you enjoy the time. That was one of the things. By the way, last week we teased as you get older, what is something that you're just like, well, I'm not going to tolerate this anymore. And one of them was hangovers. Like I'm not going to drink all day and get sick. I'm not going to do it's that. It's not worth it anymore, man. It's not. It's What's really your, not. What age do you get to? How old are you? 30? 30. What age do you get to that you think, okay, that's it. It's not worth it anymore. Probably around your age. As far as the hangover? Yeah. yeah I don't have time for it. Hangover are terrible. I don't have time for it. And it's not like I have a lot to do, like mm-hmm. where it's hindering me. I just don't like feeling like that. They're awful. It's a terrible feeling. It is a terrible feeling. You know, I was in college. The first time I really had a hangover, I was in college. I was a freshman. Mm-hmm. And my a friend of mine, who I told you about him last week, he's a terrible influence on me. <laughs> awful. Yeah. And one night, it was October of 1989, okay? Giants, this is baseball. Giants are playing the A's in the Earthquake World Series. Yes. You know the series? Yes, yes, it's familiar. The earthquake Series, and it was Game 3. They had come back from the earthquake. They had, they had an earthquake in, ga- in Game 3 at the, before it started, and they delayed the series by like 12 days. And so my roommate was going home for the weekend, and I was like, I'm just going to sit and watch the World Series. And I said, come over and watch the game. We'll order pizza, whatever. We ordered a huge pizza. I ate three quarters of it. And he said, let's go to my dorm and get drunk. And I was like, okay, it's let's like the it. second inning. you know." Yeah. But, he, uh, but yeah. I did it. I went and did it. And we drank so much. I think I told you this. I was, he was mixing vodka and orange juice, and he ran out of <laughs> orange juice. And he said, I've got some crystal light. So he poured the packet of crystal light into the vodka, like the powder. Smart move, man. You got to work with what you got. I'm not mad at him. I threw that pizza up. <laughs> I mean, whole mushrooms were yeah. on the floor uh. of the dorm bathroom. It was awful. It was just terrible. By the way, the other thing, one of these things on uh, I'm too old to do it is what you're telling me to do. It's like keeping up with the new terminal, the slang, you know, yeah. that you use on your phone. You know, and I try to challenge you to do things, but you at do. the same time, you, you just have. you got to do what you got to do, you man. Have. And, and uh, keeping up with new music. Now, I don't ever really do that, except you a Taylor Swift fan? Uh, did I ask you that? Yeah, mm. I... I have mixed emotions about Taylor Swift. I was actually going to bring something similar up this to you. You were like gonna, about, ta- about music? About, or? about So I was going to play a game with you called Over Under, okay, yeah. which I was going to give you a topic, okay. and you say whether you think it's overrated or underrated. I love that. Or you know, pop, rightly rated. I love that. And the first one I was going to ask you about was Taylor Swift. Uh, does it have to be one or the other overrated? It could be, it could be solidly rated. Solid, I think she's solidly really? rated. Really? Uh, well, there's a discussion now. In 50 years, when people look back and you say the queen of pop, is it going to be Madonna or Taylor Swift? And I think it's going to be Taylor Swift. It's going to be Taylor Swift, totally. But Madonna did dominate the 80s. Now, she she was everywhere and she was, I mean, huge. And she really had a style, but I don't think she dominates the way Taylor Swift does. No, Taylor Swift's really been killing it since like 2008. And with the advent of social media, so everybody, I think that just builds the momentum for it and the internet, of course. Yeah, and this this tour that she's done is literally the biggest tour of all time. Mm-hmm. I, and I don't think anything's going to match up for a long time. I think you're right. This this tour, I've heard it described like if it's in your city for five days in a row, it's like having five Super Bowls in a row. Yeah, essentially. Like it, she's single handedly boosting local economies. Yeah. Like the Philadelphia economy has seen an uptick ever yeah. since that she came through there. Because everybody goes out to that show. I mean, that's how. Can you imagine having that kind of power and that kind of influence? And well, with this show, we'll get yeah. there eventually, of course. I mean, we know that's. I mean, it's, it's closing. <laughs> well, yeah, in. we're only five episodes we're, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this number five? Is it? I can't remember. I thought it was four. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, one of them wasn't that good. So yeah, that's uh, right. That's right. So, but yes. So I think, I think solidly rated. I don't think I can say underrated because she's talked about all the time. Sure. Yeah. All the time. I think she's probably right on the money with okay. where she's rated. Don't you think? I think she's a little overrated. Well, you think her talent is not as good. Exactly. True. I don't think she's as talented as other people. Yeah. But she's got this thing that people love. Like, she's not a great songwriter, I don't think. Oh, really? She's not a great singer. She does write all her own songs. I I don't think she does. You don't think so? I think she has a lot of collaborators. I could be wrong about that. doesn't, Doesn't she have the reputation of writing about all her failed relationships? Yeah, but I think she's getting some help. Uh, maybe okay and like maybe. she's not a great singer i don't think mm. but her ability just to like control is just mm-hmm. insane she's i've never seen thing, anything like it she? you know and when i'll tell you this I, when she changed over because she was country there for a little while yeah and when she made the announcement she's changing to pop i said 
that's the end of her. Yeah. You won't hear from her ever again. Only thing it did was make her bigger. Oh, by that shake it off when that oh, song came god. out. Oh my god. And she's a hundred times bigger than she was. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. She's like now. I mean, she is there. And and this is like the summer of concert. You've got her. Beyonce's on tour. Mm-hmm. Elton John just finished. Yep. Ed Sheeran's out yep. there. Drake's out there yep. getting bras thrown at him. And I mean, nothing stands a chance. No. She's just dominating right now. She really is. So that's so you're gonna say she's overrated because. But see, when I hear one of her songs, now I hear them in the gym. That's where I hear the okay, song. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't even know it's her, but I like the songs. So there's very few that I hear from her that I don't like. I, you know, I think I just have a weird thing with people who like get so in awe around celebrities. Oh, I don't like it's that never either. made sense to me. That does bother me too. Celebrities. I mean, I've met some celebrities, yeah. and I'm never ever like just <gasps> overwhelmed by. But them. you know, you see like footage of little girls and mm-hmm. t- middle aged people at Taylor Swift concerts just losing their mind. I'm like, is it's, she the one? It's too much. Really? I agree. That's the one that I, you're losing. I, it no for? matter who. I mean, is there anybody you would uh, really go that? No, wild honestly, I, I mean, don't either. think I, I, I would be so in awe of somebody. Me neither. Uh, if I saw, I mean, you know, I'm a huge Broncos fan. I did meet John Elway, and actually, I saw him naked. But I what? got I was in the locker room. I got locker room passes somehow. Okay. Yeah, back, you know, uh the one of the coaches. I want to ask questions, but I'm not gonna ask questions. So he's I mean, I was in yeah. the locker room. I, I was wearing an Elway jersey. I looked like a kid a make a wish kid. <laughs> but I was thirty. You okay. know, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was they were getting ready to go. They were in their Super Bowl run. So it was like one of the last years of his career. And I wanted an autograph. I got it in the end zone of Mile High State, old Mile High Stadium, holding that football like a make a wish kid and I, and and he was like, dude. And he finally just signed it, you know, and that was it. It's a little bit disappointing because he was so, like, ready to brush past me. That's, yeah. That's as starstruck as I've ever been. And since then, I'm like, there's there's really nobody I would yeah. be that. It, nobody. Even if I met a Tiger Woods. or And I've been close to him. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've walked next to him. Uh, he pointed his putter at me one time because oh, I cheered damn. for him. He pointed. Damn, you were on your way in. You should have took advantage of that. I know. I in fact I saw him on the putting green one time. I'm very I'm as close as me and you, and I said, you know, go get him, Tiger. And he's like, thanks. And that, you know, it's pretty cool. But it's I never ever would go like the way these people yeah, do. Yeah, like you when know? you see old Beatles footage. Never. And I understand that was a completely different time, but still, really, I'm doesn't like, even matter. Yeah. And you know that girls. Here's a great factoid for you. The teenage girls in the Beatles concerts, they would get there really early to go to the show. And they wouldn't want to leave their seat, and they'd pee right there. Apparently, those shows <laughs> smelled so strongly of urine because yeah. all those teenage girls were peeing their pants, A, because they waited so long, and B, because they were so in awe of the Beatles. That's such a wild thing. I, I've never been into that, never understood that. Here's another thing I just learned. The, Paul McCartney just uh, was talking about, the you know he was on tour last year, I guess. Yeah. And Beatles shows, when they would do the shows, were like 20 minutes. They didn't play that really? long. Really? Yes. Not long at all? There'd be other artists there, too. And then they would do 20 to 30 minutes. And everybody loved it. And that was it. I mean, you see that footage. Yeah. Taylor Swift's doing three and a half hours. You know, I don't hate that, actually. I don't hate a short concert. I don't either. Come in, play the hits, get yeah. the hell on, dude. Well, it depends on what you're charging. I mean, if I'm okay, going to yeah, pay. You're right, you're right. If you're paying $1,000 for Taylor Swift, Taylor okay, Swift I prices, do want a three-hour ticket. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you on that. Yeah. Uh, the, I, I would... But I don't mind a, a short concert either, except Taylor Swift's got so many hits. Yeah, and see, I think that was – this This tour is like a culmination mm-hmm. of everything she's done up to this point. I think that's why it's so big. Yeah. But it's still weird because I feel like two years ago there weren't that many Taylor Swift fans. I agree. But now everybody's a Taylor Swift fan. She is just like so everywhere. Now, that's why I think when you look back, it will be yeah. Taylor Swift. And that's why I think she may be, if I had to say one or the other, I'd say she's underrated because she has so much power. I yeah. mean, it's unreal. You just think her talent is I just not think, as good. I just don't think her talent is up to her celebrity. I like that game. Do you have another underrated? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over, so we're yeah. doing over-under, overrated yeah, over, or underrated. Yeah. Let's do, uh, let's do uh, holidays. <laughs> well, which ones? Just, uh, it's just holidays, holidays in general. Holidays in general? Yeah. I think they are overrated for the most part. Yeah. I love Christmas. I love Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is one that I absolutely I think it's fantastic, yeah. but we don't spend enough time on it. I agree. I'll yeah. tell you this. Boy, God, by God. This is one of my uh, uh, character traits that's most appalling, and there are many. <laughs> but you know my stance on pumpkin spice latte. Okay, it not a fan. Like, not a fan. I don't li- not only do I not like it, yeah. if you like it, I start to dislike you, and I want to crap all over you for liking pumpkin spice latte. Hey. This came up this week yeah. uh, because I know people who like, and the Krispy Kreme has a pumpkin spice latte something out there you got a little haterism in your game but i like it i like it here's the here's the latest for me on that uh i hate when christmas music is played before like right at thanksgiving it should be late november 
that's a little too early. Cannot stand it. And when people are like these people that have Christmas music all year long, yeah. what are you thinking? What's well, the that's stupid. The thing. Like the holidays have become once this ends, let's gear up for the next yes. one. There's no time in between. Yes. Like from Halloween to New Year's, <laughs> yes. there's it's nonstop. It's just beating over the head. And with it's really everything. Christmas. After yeah. Halloween, it's Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Yes. You know, Mariah Carey, she's got that huge Christmas song. On the day after, or the day after Halloween, she last year she had a video smashing a pumpkin and saying it's time. It's not, for, it's not time. No, there's a goddamn thing called <laughs> you got Thanksgiving. Two months left. There's something <laughs> called Thanksgiving out yeah. there, and I want it recognized. Exactly. That's a great holiday. I would rather have a week off for Thanksgiving than a week off for Christmas. I think I agree. Because I need to. I need that time to recuperate. And Thanksgiving, there's there's a time and pl- I like things compartmentalized yes. into a time and place. Pumpkin spice latte. If I, even though I don't like it, if you started it October first and ran it through the end of November, fine. That's it's, it's just spice it just became August. It's yeah. the hottest month of the season, hottest month of the year. You're throwing Why that are we out eating there? pumpkin spice right now. Exactly. You're yeah. showing me pumpkin. Spice? I want. I still need like lemon and blueberries. And I, I need. I need. It's, it's, I need fruit. It's, yes, it's the middle it's, of summer. It's 100 right? degrees yeah. still. It's going to be 100 degrees through September, you know? I, I think ideally we should only celebrate like five holidays. Which ones do you want to get rid of? I think I Don't go I'm, racist. I'm no. <laughs> I'm done with New Year's. You're done I'm with done New, with New Year's. I've been done with New, New Year's. New Year's is a complete I thought waste you were of time. Say, no more MLK day, no, no, no more uh, no, Juneteenth. No, no. <laughs> Don't do that. Well, uh, we you need. You guys have trouble for we, that. <laughs> we need no, no more New Year's. Uh, we need to be at work on one one. One you one of the new year. On one There's one, no, it's, really. what what are you doing on New Year's Day? Well, nothing. 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 Exactly. I'm not drinking the night before either, so who cares? No. What I, uh, you know what it used to be on and you don't even know this. Well, maybe you do. There used to be the enormous college football bowl games on New Year's Day and it was yeah. great. You just sat from beginning of the day to the end and they culminated at the end with Rose Bowl and Orange Bowl. Yeah. And you know, then it's great. But now the, and now there's kind of lesser bowls and you have the playoff. Yeah. You're right. I don't I mean, I don't know. I don't want to work on New Year's Day, but it's sure. not a holiday I care anything about. Well, then you take like Labor Day, unnecessary. What? I think it's completely unnecessary. Like, what is Labor Day? Well, it's to honor the American worker. Yeah. So, work. <laughs> if you want to be honored, work on Labor Day. Uh, I think that's we, a real. That's an interesting take. I think we need like as far as I think Memorial Day, Fourth of July, and like Veterans Day should be one day. Really? I don't think Memorial. You day, want to take those days away? We just need them for one day. We need to celebrate. One day for America. It doesn't need to be wow. like three or four things. Well, but wait a minute. Now, Memorial Day is for those that have given their lives for the country. That's fine. And that could think that can fall underneath the 4th yes. of July as well. And the, But Veterans Day is for those that are still living and have you know fought for our country. Yes. And then 4th of July, of course, for the birth of our country. Really. Yeah, I think that really all just needs to be car- compartmentalized. You know, you know what they do. The, I, I cannot sign on to that. I don't I, think I, can, I cannot. Because we have way too many holid- off holidays throughout the year. I think it's just unnecessary. Wow. That, but, you know. I think we work hard as a people. At least, I mean, I can't say everybody works hard. Yeah. That's for sure. I think you work hard. I think I work hard. And I need some days off. <laughs> I need some days. I'm at this weird point in my life where, like, I just would rather be at work than sitting at the really? house. Honest to God, yeah. I like that about I, you. I really just kind of am like, I like sitting at the house, but I I don't do anything productive. You know how I am. You know, I'll get a week off. Yeah. And uh, I now, coming back that next week is so difficult. You're just like, oh, God. But once you're rolling, you're right. It's like, okay, now I'm in a groove. Yeah. I'm in a pattern. And getting back into that. And I also hate asking other people to cover things for me while I'm gone. Yeah. I also hate. Or you're uh, going out of town today, tomorrow. Yeah, but <laughs> I know I'm saying this at the perfect time. Yeah. But I but I hated that. Like, I would no. much rather just be able do to do it, it by myself. Yeah. It. yeah I and I also don't like. Um, Oh, I had a thought. I completely... Well, let me tell you this about the holidays that you're talking about. The reason I think that they... One reason that these holidays line up so nicely is you have Memorial Day, which is the unofficial start of summer, so everybody grills out and whatnot. It's good for the hot dog industry. You have the 4th of July, which is the exact same thing. I mean, we honor America, but the fireworks are sold, the flags... It's beach, it's summer, it drives the economy. And then Labor Day is a perfect end to it. You know, then it's, okay, now the holiday's over. You yeah. know, now the summer is over. It's May to September. But did the they summer. really need their own day for that? Like it's, <laughs> To be off work? Yeah, exactly. Probably not, honestly. But it is, that it is a nice, you know, round way yeah. to do that. But, but as far, I know you were wanting me to mention Juneteenth. Um, I'm totally fine with Juneteenth. I think that it's an important day, mm-hmm. you know, for half of the people in this country, mm-hmm. and I think that that should be celebrated. Absolutely. So you want it, you're okay with Juneteenth, yes, but you don't want to give Memorial Day. I think Juneteenth, day. the day that this the 
slaves were freed. Uh-huh. I think that is a pivotal moment in American history mm-hmm. that needs to be recognized. But you also, don't you want to recognize the veterans and the people who gave their lives? I think that's, yes, but one day. In one day. Yes, I think it should be we one day. Those. Yeah. But don't you think the 4th of July is a pivotal day in American history? I agree. Mm-hmm. Along but with only one. Veterans <laughs> Day and Memorial Day. One yeah, day. Yeah, share the one day. But Juneteenth Or, or like a, make it a long weekend. How mm-hmm. about that? This is America's weekend, yeah. and we're going to give you... Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Right, right, know, right. Enjoy a four day weekend. And what, but you know, when Juneteenth came around, I never heard of it until like two years ago. Yeah. And all of a sudden it was, it was told to us, is a, I understand the importance mm-hmm. of it. And see, you're talking about not taking days off and everybody gets an extra day for this. That I mean, I guess a lot of people have heard of it. I had not. I mean, yeah. like two or three years ago, people were like, oh, Juneteenth. I said, what is that? I never, we, yeah. well, we weren't taught Juneteenth in sure. schools. No, we weren't either. Honestly. I never heard I, of that. I, I didn't really start hearing about it until five or six years ago. Exactly. And then yeah. even then, it's like, what is that? Yeah. You know, what, I didn't, then suddenly But I think you this do. is just us catching up to things that really need to be recognized. Mm-hmm. You know, and I think that's a good step for the country as well. Do well. other countries do that? Do Does England celebrate the last day the slave was freed in England? I don't know. That's their problem. I don't know either. I don't, yeah. I don't know. And that's, a, you know, one thing I think about sometimes with the United States is, uh, of course, we always talk about slavery and what a, a uh, terrible stain it is in this country, and it is. Yeah. But did other countries not own slaves? I never. I don't know the answer to that. I have no idea. I think so. Yeah. Do they not? Do they struggle with it the way we? I do? don't know. That's a great question. I don't know. I never know the answer to that. Yeah. It's like, uh, do they or do they not? Because it always seems like an American problem. But it, yeah, I don't. Think I know. It just I definitely think problem. there were countries all over the world that did. I'm but... sure. I research. I will research that because I don't know the answer to. Because it always seems like because you hear a lot of people saying this country. You know, slavery is such a terrible black eye for yeah. this country. Was it not done in Europe? Yeah. I, I don't know. I really yeah. don't know the answer to that. Very interesting. But I mean, I think that's just how egotistical. I don't care what other countries did. I, I just kind of care. <laughs> I just care what we did, and yes. that was the thing that happened. Yeah, that's and, what we did. You know, I think that that's a proper thing to celebrate. So by and large, I think holidays are overrated. I think uh, Thanksgiving is underrated because it's a fantastic day. And I see when I say things need to be car- compartmentalized too that's the day for football yeah the nfl and now nfl puts it on um christmas as well yeah see i don't like that either i don't know everybody should have christmas off yeah that's yeah i agreed i yeah i don't care about nfl games on christmas how about nba they have it on christmas too uh they started well they really started I, I like the nba on christmas i mean we'll I, I think that's, that's their thing but honestly if they stop showing sports altogether i would, would be fine care. on christmas the, yeah. the nfl is such a huge like taylor swift yeah such an enormous thing. They do what they want. They, they do. They will, they will come on on Christmas Day, whereas the NBA owned that for years and do it. And they don't care anymore. They used to, like when the World Series was on, you don't remember this, when the World Series and baseball was on, the NFL would kind of schedule around it and say like, okay, like uh, Monday Night Football they would do – but uh, the World Series would be on a break, so they'd play on Monday or whatever. Now they don't care. No. They get better ratings than the World Series. Yeah, absolutely. No, people it's, would rather watch football than baseball. It now. is the most behemoth sport. I don't know how they've built it into being it's such wild, a It's wild, isn't it? It is. It's I be- think because it all matters. It all Every, every game. single game matters. When I was a kid, it was football, baseball, basketball, almost equally. Like when football season started, it was great. When basketball season, the same. College, uh, c- college football, and baseball – and it was like whatever season was going on, it's like that's my favorite sport. Yeah, I love it. Now it's all. Football. I mean, people talk about football all year long. There's no off season. No, there's there, not. There, there really is not. There's not. I think the NFL is a little overrated. How about that? I'll, there's Ooh, one for you. That's tough. I mean, it's a great sport. I, I yeah. do love it. But a lot. Of, sometimes I watch games. They're good. They're all. They're usually good games. But it's almost like get to the the finish of the game. You know, it's yeah. like there's so many. Let's look at this play and let's overdo this and that. It's like finish the game well you know? basketball's turned into that yes. the last 20 yes. seconds of the game turns on for 20 minutes Jeez, and i know you i know i mean that's what i mean i do sound old i was watching a game the other day this is football what was i watching ah the 1990 no the 1988 rose bowl oh yeah you I'm know sorry. that's hey, how i was watching that i don't know no, 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 no. michigan against i want to say uh washington washington there's michigan washington okay. i believe or michigan ucla anyway uh, the end of the game, there's some play happened. Somebody fumbled, somebody recovered, 
And I thought, well, this will take 10 minutes. You know, did he fumble or did No, it's just, okay, it's a fumble. That's it. You know, they didn't, they looked at it on TV, but there was no instant replay yeah. or anything. So I was like, all right, that's the fumble. And UCLA's got the ball. So, oh, okay. You know, well, see, I, it took two seconds instead of 20 minutes yeah. to like look at it from every possible angle. Well, that's like sports now. What's the point of the umpire? What's the what's the point of the the I referee? Know. I mean, you're really taking all the power out of well, their the hands. Well, the umpire especially. I mean, they I think they'll eventually replace the umpire with uh, artificial intelligence. Yeah, they should. I, and I, that'll bother me. Yeah, that'll bother me. And even me like a lot. the replay in baseball now, I'm just not a fan. You of. think they should take away the umpire and make the ball? Might as well. Should... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because I it... mean, literally at this point, well, who are you going to argue? It would lo- it would lower co- coach ejections. Mm-hmm. Aaron Boone wouldn't have any fun anymore. I feel like he gets thrown out every freaking game now. <laughs> and really, what's the point? Of... Now it's like nobody argues. So check the tape. Yeah, you know? exactly. Used yeah. to they go out and uh, kick dirt on the umpire. It doesn't happen as much. No. That was fun to watch. It was. was, was, was now Aaron Boone. Tantrums. Aaron Boone will do it sometimes. Right, he he gets caught up so quickly. He does. Yeah. In, in a season that they're just uh, yeah, it's, it's just very dying. lackluster. They're dying. On very this. lackluster. Season. Do you have another? Uh, I, over- I got I got one more over under for you, and this is going to be overrated near, or underrated. Yeah, near, have near I answered the way you thought I would answer on these? Uh, pretty much so far. Okay, pretty yeah. much so far. I feel All like right. I know you're going to go here too. Yes. Chick fil A. Um. Well, I love Chick fil A. Yeah. I think it's. But golly, I can't, it's hard to say it's overrated or uh, underrated because everybody loves it. You know, yeah. you think it's overrated. I do though. think it's overrated. I think it's underrated or rated fairly because I love, I love the chicken sandwich and I love the nuggets and I like the fries and I like the service. Why do you think it's overrated? I just don't think it's too much, man. Mm. It's too much of a show. Mm-hmm. I don't like really talking to people mm-hmm. and the fact that I'm forced to interact with a human being when yeah. I go to the drive-through. I'm not a fan of well, that. Well, you do. You know what they do? I go sometimes now. Well, okay, how about do you ever go to Trader Joe's? No, I've, never, I've been like twice. I used to think that was way overrated because yeah. people talk about it all the time. And then I started going once in a while, and I like I get it. It's it's a completely it's it's kind of like Chick Fil A in that when you walk in, and and I just heard this recently, they're never going to do any kind of self checkout at Trader Joe's. I like that. I do too. Yeah. And they seem to have more employees than they need. Every aisle, somebody's there. If you need to find something, they'll say, "Can I help you with?" Anything? I mean, yeah. everywhere. And I just read recently, uh, they're trained to flirt with you. The women are trained Is to flirt right? with you, and they really do. They're like, "What you got planned for later in the day?" Ooh, see, I don't like that. I know you don't. I do not like that. But I do. It build, builds me up. I, nobody builds me up. You know, see, I think that would be a that would be an argument for Chick Fil A being underrated. Is that the fact that they care about their employees? They, they do. Or it seems like that doesn't seem to be a thing anymore. Does it make you mad? One, a friend of mine is really mad that that's, they're closed on Sunday. He loves it, and he's been, oh. like, "We'll be driving somewhere, and then he'll be ticked off." But I yeah. say I like that because they are giving their employees a day. It's a standard, and yeah. I like I like people who have standards. I like yes. that too. And and it's done first for religious reasons, which I certainly respect. Mm-hmm. Secondly, they they're not going to cave and change on it. Third, they're giving up. God knows Man, how many millions of dollars. Yes, because you don't want Chick Fil A until Sunday. I <laughs> well, never I want Chick Fil A until Sunday. <laughs> I don't Sunday. know about that, but I mean, I want it a lot. Yeah. But they they give up so much money. That's another probably ten percent profit for them yeah. at least that they could make on Sunday, and they're giving their employees a day off, which I really respect. I do too. I, I like that. I do too that because do everybody, that. you know, as greedy as the world is, yes. you have one of the biggest names in the food industry yes. saying that's fine. Take a yeah. day. Yeah, you know, pay pay your pay your people more. Yeah, and they say with we're never attitude. going to to change yeah. that. I mean, I, th- well, I think that's an underrated argument, right there. I do there. too. Yeah. And then uh, Trader Joe's, that's what they do. They they train their employees to flirt with you. And I just said a minute ago, and I know this makes me sound needy. I said nobody ever builds me up. <laughs> <laughs> but they do, damn it. They do. They build me up. See, they, they ask about, my family's done with me. When I walk in, do they care that I walk in the door? No. But when I walk into Trader Joe's yeah. or Chick-fil-A, they're yeah. like, welcome. You know, <laughs> you know that you're family there. I know that I'm family. See, exactly. that, that disingenuous flirting, I'm just not, a, it's like being at a strip club. Uh, I'm not yeah. a big fan of that. I cannot tell you how many waitresses I used to ask out at Outback Steakhouse in the uh, 90s. And then I found out, well, they're just trying to yeah, get a big tip to, yeah, out of exactly. it. They don't want to date me. Boy, they're cute, though. They, they were, were good looking. And the same at the strip club, I imagine. You know, <laughs> I've never ha- I've never had a bad experience at a strip club, honestly. No? All my experiences have been fine, man. Everybody's and you're there a been, lot. Yeah, I'm there a lot. Yeah. I know you're there all I the like, time. I like, I like the people that are up there. Yeah, you yeah. know my uh, story about the uh, body shot the woman gave me that time? It was uh, This was at a bachelor party or something. Yeah. And, uh, God, many years ago. And uh, it was some sort of game where i was drinking out of a test tube between her breasts yeah and she took me by the ears and nailed my, uh, her my 
forehead <laughs> into her chest over and over again. I think I had a concussion. I don't you think you can do that anymore. Did you say, Al, did you go home? I was like, oh, my God. I mean, she kept... And somebody said, man, your forehead's really red. And it was like, I was concussed. I was seeing... I was dizzy for the rest of the night. She just ran me with she her titties. Really? I mean, yes, she ran me. That's a great way to put it. She ran me with her titty. That's exactly right. And she thought you were enjoying that, too. I guess. Like, oh, but I'll tell you what, it was uh, somewhat painful. Ugh. I had... Uh, th- this is the thing about pumpkin spice latte that you were talking about. We, you know, I don't like it. And it, it, this is the worst character flaw I have is that I'm upset when people do like it in August. Have like, you ever why? tried it? Not really. I mean, I don't like yeah. I don't like latte, period. Okay. Do you like it? Or like a pumpkin spice anything. You can get like a pumpkin spice like cough, which you don't like coffee. No, and I don't love the uh, I don't love the smell of the uh, candle even. I don't love it. It's okay. Whether or not it tastes good, I get where you're coming from. I like pumpkin pie, yeah. but uh, and it, so that's okay. But yeah. only in November. You sure. Know, I, I when it's have, necessary. Yes, when it's t- you know, it's Thanksgiving Day, you have it. But uh, the other thing I don't like, well, two things I don't like. I don't like soccer. So when people <laughs> like soccer, like when they're talking about the World Cup, yeah, I was just like, I, I don't. And it made me like these people. Less. I have two good friends that are big soccer fans, and they'd be like, "Hey, did you catch the Messi?" And I'm like, oh God, you know. And, and that's a terrible <laughs> because why do I care if they like it? You know, what do I care that somebody likes soccer? Yeah, but I don't believe soccer fans either. You don't believe? I them? don't believe them either. <laughs> I don't believe they actually like it. <laughs> There's How can a, you? Soccer fans are also like Android users. Like you just yes. you just pull for it because <laughs> you want to be different and you want to sound cultured. How it's can- different. It's more technologically. No, it's not. It's such an awful game. No, yeah, it's, it's a terrible, terrible game. Ninety minutes just to end in a zero zero so tie. Boring. I mean, ju- I had a couple of people texting me that when the U.S. women's team was playing. I didn't watch it. It was when they lost in yeah. penalty kicks and to be knocked out of the World Cup. And somebody texts and said, if anybody's up and watching, because it's early in the morning, I was up. It says, if anybody's up and watching, they're going to penalty kicks at 0-0. And I said, well, of course they have. What yeah, you just said is right. It's always, <laughs> of course they do. It's just running around a field. It's predictable. It's and then running around the people field. get excited when a shot actually happens. <gasps> like, oh, I know. If you it's, want to see shots, watch basketball. awful. Watch. They shoot 900 you. times a game. And how soccer is popular and, well, it's not really here, but like hockey is a, it's the same game, but fast. Yes. You know, it's yeah. faster. It's a good game. With, and there's scoring. With tougher people, with yes. like bigger hits. With scoring. You know, the final score could be 5-4, not 1-0. Yeah. And stop saying nil. Yeah, it's you know, zero. I, I don't, and stop saying pitch. <laughs> it's field. Soccer field. So that's what, that really, and but that's a terrible. And uh, the other thing is, and this is, again, total character flaw on my part. Hey, get it off your chest, man. I'm here for when you. When someone... <laughs> this was, uh, we were going to do this whole thing yeah. about things people are getting too old to, uh, to tolerate. Uh, tr- it's about traffic. When I hear people use Waze, W-A-Z, do you use it? Uh, no. I get mad. I hate it. I do too. It's I such a. It's the same thing with soccer. It's the exact same thing. I'm like, why don't you just use your? Just use the, the, the app. Thing. The thing on the phone. Thank why you. are you downloading another thing to tell? That's like with people who have the Google app. Yes. Just go. Why? Just pull it up on the Safari, dude. Thank why do you need you. the Google app? God, you're exactly right. People tell me, oh, I wazed it for a while. I was like, what are you talking about? And then yeah. they're like, oh, Waze is so good. It's so much better. It's not. Like, because Samuel L. Jackson can tell you to take a left turn. Yeah. I so, want to hear the Australian bitmoji lady. Thank you. Give That's me, who I want to talk to. Yeah. And so when people say they use Waze, I automatically dislike them <laughs> as people. That's where I stand. It's, it's the so I am contrarian. I will admit that. I know that, you are, but it's but the, we really agree on these. Yes, yeah, see, but it's the blatant contrarianism. Yeah. It's yeah. like I'm not out here doing wild stuff that's like counterproductive to how yes. normal people do things. Yes, you know, I just don't like Shawshank Redemption. Like that's about <sighs> it. God, you know, but I'm not out here, Man, you know, you calling really, it nil and stuff. Oh, you just crapped all over this show. That you, you just that, ruined it. When I, you said, I went down the wrong road, man. I'm sorry. Boy, when you <laughs> said that, I was really with you on most on ways on soccer <laughs> on pumpkin spice latte. But then you said you don't like Shawshank Redemption. My yeah. God, it's every time I see it, I like it more. I like mm, it better. I don't, I don't get it, man. What do you think of? Um, oh, I was going to ask you about Oppenheimer. I, we're going to go here. I mean, yeah. this this show is just rambling yeah. on. Uh, somebody told me Oppen, and I've heard a few people say this. Now you saw it. Yeah. Some people said uh, it's good, but it's an hour too long. It is a hundred percent. An hour too long. Yes. Somebody told me that when the the bomb goes off, don't think you're driving home. It's no, another no, no, hour. No, 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 no. You still got a little bit to go. It's all necessary to the story, but yeah. it's not a hundred percent necessary for the movie. I, okay. I, you know, right, yeah. Like, yeah, that's how I was. I'm like, oh, they did the bomb thing. Okay, so we're about Let's to go. roll. Dude, that was good. Yeah. Like, nah, man. Should they have shortened it? Do you think? Um, no. 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 
And even another 30 minutes. No. I, I think movies, I think that's too long. No, I think long. that if you want to tell the story right, you tell the story right. Well, you okay. tell everything that, I mean, it's in, for, interesting stuff that happens. It's like mm. a whole other plot twist. If I you're think not I might familiar. disagree with you there, though. I feel like if you can uh, tell the story in a shorter amount of time, it's always. But I think most movies could lose about ten percent. True. You know I they mean, do. They edit a lot, but most, especially if it's two and a half hours plus, you can probably get it down. It's like this show. We should have ended ten <laughs> minutes ago. We should have ended right before you said that about that Shawshank Redemption. Oh, for sure. I'm sorry. That, man. That's where we should end. All right, oh, let's sorry. end it. All right. You go to Arizona. Yes. Uh, you have a nice time tell in you all Arizona. About it next That'll time. be nice. Yeah. And tell us about the baseball game next week. Yeah. I didn't get anything on my sheet. This was very nice. I that uh, your overrated, underrated yeah. was really good. Can you come up with more? Of those I can come for up me? with some more stuff for you. Yeah, those yeah, were yeah. all good because yeah. I thought they were all pretty fairly rated. Yeah. You know, I think Taylor Swift is huge. I love Chick Fil A. All those were. I want to get some hot takes out of you, so I'll come up with some more stuff for You're you. You're telling me I haven't given you a hot take yet? Uh, Ever? Not, not a sizzling take. You not can give a me some warm take. take. Warm takes. I need some hot takes. Next week I'll do a hot take. Okay. Thank you for listening this week to the Square and the Round. We'll be back next week.